Bengals deserve a neutral site game. Um, it, it is interesting with today's game with the Bills and the Bengals because I do think if that game would have continued, I think the Bengals win. So then you're in a position to where they might be hosting their second playoff game right. instead of – I mean, their second home game instead of Buffalo. So right. it does it does give you a reason to think about it. And I, I think it should have been like a maybe a Detroit or something. You know, something in the middle where it ain't – all right, we ain't more – close to Ohio than we are to Buffalo. Uh, I don't, maybe Atlanta is another spot, maybe. But um, I definitely think the NFL should have made Buffalo's next two games neutral sites. Just based on, you know, that, that game messed with a lot of people's stuff. And, you know, if I'm the Bengals, you see how they reacted with that uh, Ravens game. In week 17 with the coin toss, you know, whoever wins, I think if the Ravens would have won, they would have hosted. But the Bengals end up winning, so they hosted anyway. Yeah, You know, they had two home games back to back. But it does make you, uh, you know, if I'm a Bengals fan, I'm upset. I'm like, bro, you know, I would have took neutral site over, you know, having to go up to Buffalo. Because yeah. if you lose, you can always say, hey. We in Buffalo, you know, almost yeah. like Buffalo did last year with Kansas City. If we, you know, we in Kansas City, so yes, they get the ball first. But if we in Buffalo, we win that game. So, you know, Cincinnati can say the same thing if today ends a little sketchy. So you're saying they won the coin toss in the overtime because they were at home? Is that what that why Kansas City won it? I, here's, here's my thing is – um. This lends credence to uh, Skip Bayless's comment now. Yes, hundred percent. And and this is why I said I was going to be slow on on criticizing him because even though like I wouldn't have said it, like all those people who were like, "Oh, Skip, blah blah blah," they're now upset. Unless and the only people who aren't upset it's cause, just because you're not Bengals fans, like you know whatever. Like, if you're not Bengals fan, sure you're not upset because you don't you don't have any. Uh, you don't have any blood in this. You know what I mean? Like, you you don't care. You don't lose nothing. But if you're a Bengals player or you're a Bengals fan, we saw how upset the Bengals players were about, yeah, the, even the Ravens game. And now, like, this, yeah, they're definitely upset. I, I definitely think it should have been neutral site. Um, it, it's just – I don't understand. Like, so, okay, I, I get it. The game didn't count, so you have to give it – let's just say the game didn't count, so you have to give it to the team with the best record. Okay, fine, that's the Bills. Here's the thing. If that same thing were to happen in a playoff game, do I think that the NFL would allow the game to not count? No, it doesn't count. It doesn't happen. The NFL either is finishing that game no matter what, or they're redoing it. So, like, for them to just say it doesn't count, it doesn't matter, and whatever, the you know, it is ridiculous because you wouldn't do that in the playoffs, and that game technically was – almost a playoff game in a sense it's not do or die but it's you know it does change things where where Bengals now have to go on the road into buffalo and i don't know what it's like in buffalo today but it's we got snow out here today so you know i'm sure it's not nice out there but it was snowing in kansas city yesterday in the pregame so i yeah, wouldn't so doubt it, anything changes in buffalo as far as you know, know something you know it's always something in buffalo you're right, and so I, I don't think that the NFL would apply those same rules to the playoffs, so I'm not sure, like, why why they wouldn't give it a neutral side game. I, I just I just think it was a bad move. If the Bills win – because I was thinking, well, if the Bills blow them out, let's say they win 38-7, to people will be like, ah, you know what, it didn't matter. Kind of like the, the deflated football game. It was like – it was 42-7. to You really think it was the deflated football? It's like – you guys just got whooped, right? And that's why a lot of people moved on from that game. But I don't think so. I, I think if you lose 38-7, you're still like, nah, it was the crowd. It was, you know, we we never got momentum because of the crowd or blah, blah, blah. Like you could say all kinds of things. So I, I just – I think the NFL really messed up on this one. 
Um, and yeah, I just should have left it a neutral side game, but I, I don't know. I, I, maybe they I, couldn't get the Bills to agree to it, but who knows? You know, honestly, what I would have done if I'm Goodell, I think you have to make it a neutral site game. But you like I like I was saying earlier, you have to put it in a neutral site. Like you can't have it in like Chicago. Because let's be honest, Ohio is a lot closer to Chicago. Um now where you would put it, maybe I say maybe Atlanta. But I think what you would do, and I wonder what are they gonna do with the fans that was at that game? Like you know, do you get did you get your money back? Did they, you know, give you a voucher for the next home game or this playoff game just in case it happened? I, I you know, I would like to know that. So, you know, any Bengals fans that was at that game, tap in with us and let us know, you know, what they did for you as far as you know, refunding your money or whatever. But <clears throat> I would have did it like Atlanta or maybe a Detroit and made it to where it could be almost like a Super Bowl game. You know, hey, 50-50, 50% Bills, 50% Cincinnati. Because, you know, the way the game ended was not the best way. You know, yeah. under Jamar, you know, getting hurt. And like I was saying, the Bengals had the ball at the time, and they was up 7-3. Who's to say they don't go down and score? be up 14-3, and just run away with the game. Right. So it's it's interesting. But they say the next week, if the Bills win, Bills in Kansas City will be uh, ho- hosted in Atlanta, I believe. Yeah, Why that's going to be the neutral site because that win, I think if Buffalo would have won, they would have been a number one seed. And they had also okay. already beaten – Kansas City. Right. So they held the tiebreaker. But but if that's the case, then you definitely owe the Bengals a neutral site. If I agree. Say, no, yeah. I, I agree with you. Yeah. You should. That's that's wild, man. That's that's ridiculous. That, yeah, that's they, say, they say it'll be in Atlanta next week. You know, luckily the Falcons. <laughs> hey, Atlanta fans might get to see some good football. They they've been they've been put through a lot. They've been put through a lot this year. You know, Atlanta, Atlanta, Atlanta. Hey, they knew. They like, hey, just host it in Atlanta. They won't be there. I will say, I, I don't know how many games they won, but they definitely outdid what I expected. I, I thought they were a three to four win team. And, oh, Atlanta? And put up, yeah. So I, I will say they outperformed what I thought they were going to do this year. I mean, they they had a great running game. My goodness. They had three backs yeah. that just really kept them alive. Um, You know, so – I was kind of impressed. I, I did, the, you know, obviously it, it keeps them out of contention of the playoffs, but also out of contention for a play a draft draft pick. But hey, they definitely put some on paper better than I expected, and, and for that, I, you know, I was wrong. But yeah, it wasn't. I wouldn't call it a good good football though. It wasn't. You know, it wasn't fun to watch if you're a Falcons yeah. fan. Yeah, same goes for the Bears. But um, better <laughs> luck next year. <laughs> yeah, really, really, really good running game. Yeah. Not much else. Yeah, yeah. And we was I think they say we were like one and seven and one score or less games. I'm like, dang, we you know, if you can right. make the right play in some of those games, I mean, although I don't really know if the number one pick is a great thing because that also means you were the worst team. Yeah. But you know, it, it is what it is. You know, but that's open. the thing, right? It's people move. You forget about them Colts bad years, and just you know, oh yeah. And then you get Andrew Luck, and it's like, and hey, it's all better now. And then um, but, right back to bad when he retired. But I talk about that. The Giants were like seven and one in one score games, and the Bears were one and seven or something like that. And like that's the thing, man. Is like you got to win them one score games. You got to because I'm not, I'm not gonna the, lie to you. It's the difference between you being ten and seven and and three and fourteen. 